James Rodriguez, a player who has consistently threatened to be one of the best of this generation, a player who is hard to dislike, and who has reached Justin Bieber levels of fandomonium in his native Colombia. While his two-year loan to Bayern may have caught you off guard, in this video, we'll show you why that may have just been one of the steals of the summer of 2017, by looking into his roots in Colombia and his achievements on the world stage. Hey there, I'm Adrian, this is Rabona TV, and before we jump into the life and career of James Rodriguez, I just wanted to let you guys know that we have an entire playlist of player bios, with one manager bio thrown in there as well on Julian Nagelsmann, that you may just be interested in, and if you are interested, why not considering subscribing to the channel to help us out? And yeah, that's about it, back to James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez hails from Cucuta, Colombia. He was born on the 12th of July, 1991, pegging him at 26 years old as of the publication of this video. Speaking of the day he was born, his mother, Maria de Pilar Rubio, says, quote, James never wanted to be a footballer, but he was a footballer from the day he was born. To quote a certain Star Wars character, no spoilers here, failure is the best teacher. And that's how James learned a lot about being a footballer, which also worked as a catalyst in his maturation process. However, I'm not speaking about mistakes of his own, but of his father, Wilson James Rodriguez. And that's not to say that Wilson was a poor player. In fact, Wilson played at the top level in Colombia for Cucuta Deportivo, and was even capped by the national team. In 1985, he played on the U-20 Colombian side with the likes of René Hegita. Journalists remarked that he was as talented as his son would become, but two major pitfalls forced Wilson into an early retirement, incessant injuries, and a bout of alcohol addiction. Wilson ended up splitting from Rubio, James's mother as you'll remember, when James was just three years old. This was the first in a series of hardships, including the murder of his uncle, Arle Rodriguez. Arle, who was 19 years old at the time, was murdered by a Colombian street gang just one week after the infamous murder of Colombian defender Andres Escobar. So despite this rough climate in Colombia at the time, thankfully, James was far away from it all in Ibagué, where he was playing for Academia Tolemense. Here, while playing with an older group of kids, he was still dominant thanks to his superior ball control and foot skills. And his now famous left foot wasn't too shabby either according to former teammate Diego Nerona, when speaking to 442 Magazine. Quote, There was a free kick, and I usually took them, but he grabbed the ball with such conviction that I let him have it. Without saying a word, he curled it outside the wall and scored a stunning goal. Part of the reason why he didn't say anything was probably down to the fact that he was incredibly shy as a youngster. In fact, his coaching staff at Tolemense even went as far as to making James work with psychologists to try and break him out of his shell. But that didn't impede his play on the field, and at 11 years old, James won the Pony Football Cup with Tolemense. In that tournament, he scored 13 goals from 9 matches, two of which were directly from corner kicks in the final. By the way, this final had 5,000 people watching it, one of whom was Gustavo Upegui Lopez, a majority shareholder of Envigado Football Club. Upegui Lopez had an interesting history, getting jailed for 32 months on charges of running a band of contract killers that were associated with the Medellin cartel. He was eventually released, his name was cleared, and he got to see James Rodriguez become the youngest ever Colombian to start a match on the 21st of May 2006 against, funnily enough for James, Cucuta, while James was only 14 years old. Upegui was unfortunately assassinated shortly after that. Yikes. But let's get back to James. After two seasons with Envigado, he began making a name for himself across Colombia. With Upegui Lopez dead, James's mother began looking over her son's interests, including overseeing his transfer to Argentina. Boca Juniors were rumored to be in for the young Colombian, just as they had recently purchased his teammate, Freddy Guarín and future teammate also. But ultimately, James ended up with Banfield, signing in 2008 for 250,000 pounds. He didn't play any first team football until 2009, however, making his debut on February 7th, 2009, and scoring a signature long range goal in what was a three to one win over Rosario Central. That goal made him the youngest foreigner to ever score a goal in the Argentine Apertura at just 17 years of age. In the 2009 season, he played in every single match for Banfield in what was an historic year. On September 26th, James scored yet another goal from outside the box, helping Banfield beat Newell's old boys two to one. And to secure the Argentine Championship for the first time in Banfield's history. Across 38 matches, James managed to score 8 goals. In the following season, Udinese placed a bid of 5 million euros for the 18-year-old wonder, but that was deemed insufficient from Banfield. 
It was also around this time that James met, fell in love with, and married Daniela Ospina. And yes, that is David Ospina's sister, James's Colombian national team comrade. Later on in July of 2010, James was sitting on the team bus with his teammates as they were about to embark upon a journey to go play in Mar del Plata. Right before leaving, manager Julio Falcioni stepped off the bus. A Banfield official stepped on and announced that James Rodriguez had been sold to FC Porto. With his teammates congratulating him, he immediately left the bus, took a taxi to the airport, flew to Portugal, and signed a contract with FC Porto, finalizing a 5.1 million euro deal to bring his talent to Europe. And while he was at FC Porto, the achievements would come rolling in thick and fast. He made his non-competitive debut on July 18th, 2010 in a friendly against Ajax, marking the occasion with a goal as well. He wouldn't score his first competitive goal for Porto until December 15th, 2010 against CSKA Sofia in the Europa League. Later on in the 2011 Tasa de Portugal final, James would truly show the rest of Europe that Porto had a legitimate talent on their hands when he scored a hat-trick and provided one assist in a 6-2 victory over Vitoria de Guimarães. Oh, and Porto also won the Portuguese League and Europa League in that same 2010-2011 season, with James chipping in six goals and eight assists from just 24 appearances. In the following year, the 2011-2012 season, at just 20 years old, he scored 14 goals and delivered 11 assists, sealing the Portuguese Golden Ball Award, which is awarded to the player who is the most outstanding on the season, and helping Porto win the Portuguese League once again. The following season, which would ultimately be his final one with FC Porto, James found himself starting much more frequently due to the sales of Hulk and Falcao. As the young Colombian struck up a great offensive partnership with his Colombian compatriot, Jackson Martinez, he finished that season with 13 13 goals, 15 assists across 32 appearances in all competitions. Just one week after Porto winning yet another league title, it was announced that James was sold to AS Monaco, the relatively newly minted AS Monaco, having been bought out two years prior, with the final sale being 45 million euros, which was the second most expensive sale from a Portuguese club ever, aka the second highest fee ever received by a Portuguese club. He made his Monaco debut against Bordeaux, then picked up his first assist in what would be a season of many against Bastia in a 3-0 victory on match day 7 of the 2013-14 Ligue 1 season. He wouldn't score his first goal until November 20th, 2013, when he scored a driven free kick against Rennes in a 2-0 victory. He ended the season trophyless, though Hamas would end the season with 10 goals as the Ligue 1's top assist leader and earned a place in the Ligue 1 Best 11. The end of the season also brought the start of the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, where Hamas took the tournament by storm. In their first group stage match, Hamas set up the first two goals against Greece before adding a third himself. In the second match, he scored once again, and again, helped set up a goal in a 2-1 victory over Côte d'Ivoire. And in the final group stage match against Japan, coming on as a substitute, Hamas assisted twice to his former teammate Jackson Martinez, before again adding a goal for himself in what was a 4-1 victory. In a tricky fixture against Uruguay in the round of 16, Hamas scored twice in a 2-0 victory taking Colombia to their first ever quarterfinals. On top of that, his volleyed goal in the 28th minute was not only the goal of the tournament, but won the Puskas award for the FIFA goal of the year. The grown strength about Real Madrid's interest in the young Colombian, and Hamas did little to put the reported rumors to bed by talking about his love, admiration, and passion for Real Madrid following one of his World Cup matches, also stating how playing for them would be a life's dream. Well, onto the quarterfinals, Colombia ultimately lost 2-1, though James added another goal to his tally of six, coupled with his two assists from the tournament, and many believe that he should have won the Golden Ball Award, aka the World Cup's MVP award, with Maradona even arguing that he should have won it over Lionel Messi. But alas, James would just have to settle for a Golden Boot Award as he was the tournament's top scorer. Not bad for a quarterfinals exit. But those Real Madrid rumors never go away, do they? And on July 22nd, 2014, James signed a six-year deal with Real Madrid in a transfer that cost the Spanish giants approximately 80 million euros, making James, at the time, the fourth most expensive player in history, the third most expensive in Real Madrid's transfer history, and the most expensive Colombian in history. James found much joy at Real Madrid under Carlo Ancelotti, and he didn't waste much time in scoring his first goal for Las Blancos in the Spanish Super Cup against Atletico Madrid as he came on as a second half substitute. He also scored in his Champions League debut for Real Madrid against FC Basel on September 16th, 2014, then scored his first ever La Liga goal just six days later on the 20th of September 2014 in an 8-2 rout of Deportivo La Coruña. He finished his first season in Madrid with 17 goals from 46 appearances across all competitions. 
In a 2015-16 season that started tumultuously for Madrid under Rafael Benitez, James would mark his first appearance of the season with a man of the match performance against Real Betis, scoring a free kick, a bicycle kick, and assisting one of Gareth Bale's two goals. He was more of a bit part player during the 2015-16 season, never seeming to find favour under Zinedine Zidane, though finishing with 8 goals from 32 appearances and with a Champions League medal. The following season would be even slimmer pickings for James, as he was relegated to what would be known as Real Madrid's B team, in Zinedine Zidane's efforts to rotate the squad in order to challenge on all fronts. It worked for the team, as they won their first La Liga title since the 2011-2012 season, and became the first team ever to defend their Champions League title. But James's frustrations grew as he was only given 22 appearances in the league, 3 in the Copa del Rey, from which he scored 3 times, and 6 in the Champions League. With that, it came as no surprise that James sought to leave Real Madrid in search of more playing time, something that Zidane couldn't promise him. So on July 11th, 2017, Bayern Munich announced the two-year loan signing of the young Colombian, with an option to buy him at the end of the term, which is believed to be around 40 million euros. As of the German winter break in the 2017-2018 season, Hamas has contributed two goals and four assists across all competitions with his first goal for Bayern, coming in a 3-0 win over Schalke on September 19th, 2017. Where Hamas goes, Colombia goes. So it's safe to say that Bayern Munich has a ton of fans in South America now. At just 26 years old, it's fairly evident that James has more to give to whichever team he ends up at once his loan deal with Bayern ends. Whether it's with the German giants, the Spanish ones, or some other team entirely, James has been a gift to the world of football, and just needs the right setting to continue to be. I hope that you enjoyed this deep dive into the life and career of James Rodriguez, and if you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to help out the channel, and check out our other player and manager bios in the playlist listed below. My name is Adrian, this is Rabona TV, and I hope to see you in another video. Peace!